Hello everyone, welcome to DigiBytes. I am Vaibhav Gupta, your Alteryx expert. And today we are going to learn about two crew macros of Alteryx. One is runner macro and second is conditional runner macro. Then why wait? Let's start. Now you could see the family screen of all tricks. In order to understand the runner macro and conditional runner macro, let's start building some sample workflows. They will be pretty simple as we only want to understand why these uh, runner macro and conditional runner macro are used and what are their use cases. So let's start building the first workflow. So I will drag in the text input tool here and we'll write a sample data, let's say test and again test and uh, maybe I will add the browse tool after it although it's not needed but let's just add it and let's save this workflow let's name it as workflow one now i will add another workflow here again i will drag in text input and again i will add the browse tool test and again test and I will save it let's name it as workflow 2 now I will add the third workflow Again, I will add the text input tool. Again, let's add test and test. Although I could simply copy from the other workflows, but let's just write the data. And now let's drag in again the browse tool and save it as well and name it as workflow three. Now I will try to add those crew macros. So in the tool palette, if I drag to right, I have these crew macros with me. So there are n number of crew macros which are available on the community and you can install all of them as n required by you. So there are a lot of user defined macros uh, and there are some macros which has been provided by all tricks and validated by all tricks but there are other macros which are not validated by all tricks so there are a lot of uh, macros which you can utilize but right now we will focus on runner macro and the conditional runner macro so i will create another workflow now and drag in the runner macro so what does runner macro does is it has two parts or I would say two nodes. One is S and one is F. S stands for success and F stands for fail. So uh, whatever workflow I select in this configuration. So I can select any analytical app or macro or any workflow here. And when I run it, like if the workflow runs successfully, show you in the status as success so the result is success but in case it would have failed then the status would have been showed failed so the runner macro actually executes a workflow which has been passed in as a parameter so we can also pass the macro as well or we can also pass the analytical app so runner macro uh, tells us whether it got success or it got failed 
Similarly, conditional macro does another additional step. If I drag in now the conditional macro, it checks whether the previous workflow got succeeded or not. So in case the previous workflow did not got succeed, it will not run uh, the next workflow. So if you want to run workflows in series and you want to make sure that previous workflow uh, got successful or previous macro got successful or previous analytical app got successful. So in that case, you can utilize the conditional runner after the runner macro. So now I will drag in here the workflow two. Similarly, I will add another conditional runner here for workflow three. In all the cases, I have connected these workflows uh, in series uh, with a success parameter connection. So if I add now the workflow three here and now run it. So firstly, workflow one ran as it was successful that's why the workflow 2 ran and as it was successful the workflow 3 ran now let's add error to workflow 2 let's say i will go into the workflow 2 and bring in the formula tool and uh, leave it something like this so now the formula tool will show error and i will save it and now if again i go to the new workflow 4 and try to run it so if you see here the workflow 1 got successful but workflow 2 did not you are seeing no results here so if i go to the failure part so it got failed and if i go to the workflow 3 it never ran because the workflow 2 was not successful so this is the importance of conditional runner and runner macro here they can help you to run the workflow in series one after another making sure the first workflow was successful then only the second will be run and when second is successful then only the third will run so these screw macros will really help you to execute workflows in series with proper conditioning and ensure that uh, next step is only done if the first step is completed successfully. In case you have any doubts over these macros, you can mention those in the comments or write us on the mail that has been given in the description section. Thank you everyone for watching this video and please do subscribe our channel if you like our videos.